Let's talk about a real-life application of dynamical systems that's pretty important. Uh, when a baby is born very premature, it can't regulate its own temperature successfully, so they have to put it in an incubator, and they have the mattress warm up the baby, and the baby loses heat to the air, and the mattress also loses heat to the air. So the heater under the mattress has to heat the mattress enough to keep the baby at the right temperature. So uh, you can imagine there's heat flows going on here, so we can use Newton's law of heating and cooling. This is not something I expect you to uh, make your own spreadsheet for. I just want to show you the spreadsheet I've made to simulate how some of these devices really do work. Um, so here we've got time going by in minutes. We've got the ambient temperature, again, in Fahrenheit. We've got the baby's temperature. We've got the temperature we want the baby to be at, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. We're tracking the mattress temperature. We're tracking heat flow from the mattress to the baby, and that's just proportional to the difference of the baby's temperature and the mattress temperature. So that's just Newton's law of heating or cooling. Uh, we've got the baby losing heat to the ambient air. We've got the mattress losing heat to the ambient air. And then we have to decide how much are we going to heat up the mattress based on the baby's current temperature. Uh, if the baby's below the current temperature, we want to be adding heat. So we're just taking a simple idea here and saying, take the difference of the baby's current temperature and where we want it to be, and multiply by a constant of proportionality. So the farther away from where from the target we are, then the more heat we want to apply. That's called proportional control. And then we can put together the various flows into and out from the mattress, uh, heat flows into and out from the mattress and the baby, and then do our updating here. The baby's temperature now is the previous temperature plus the rate of change times the delta T, and the same thing for the mattress, and uh, we won't update the ambient air temperature. We'll figure that there's just so much air in the room that it's not going to appreciably warm up just, to this, just due to this one baby and incubator. So here we're tracking as the um, as time goes along. Uh, we're saying, well, what if the ambient temperature was 72 for a while, but then like the air conditioner kicked on and the vent was venting right over this poor little baby, then the ambient temperature would go down for a while. Can our system handle that without someone someone having to come by and turn up the heat on that mattress or something? And it seems like we're doing okay. Uh, here's the mattress temperature. That's warmer than we need the baby to be. That's okay. Uh, here's the baby temperature, which looks like it can handle the sudden change in air temperature. But let's go look at the baby temperature itself. First of all, that's kind of interesting that we seem to be overshooting and coming back. But remember, our target was 98.6, which is way up here and we're not staying near that. We're doing kind of a good job regulating the temperature, um, but not actually at the target. So that's proportional control. Uh, there's something even more advanced that I'm doing here that I'll tell you about some other day called proportional integral control. And um, here we've got the baby's temperature, and here we've got the air conditioning kicking on, but then over in this section, we're saying, well, suppose someone wrapped up the baby in more blankets than usual, or maybe bl mess less blankets than usual, I can't remember. Can the system account for the change in the thermal conductivity between the mattress and the baby? And here you can see, yeah, it stays pretty much right close to target, even though no one dialed into the system that I'm changing the blanket now. So that's pretty interesting. I've got a whole thing of... Uh, for the reading here. Let me know if you want this file. I'm not planning to send it out to everyone though.